Where the spirit does not work with the hand, there is no art. Leonardo da Vinci Hey, it's me, Brandon Thomas, and welcome back to another episode of Art Talk. On today's show, I want to talk about canvases and the different types of canvases on the market. Now you can decide to stretch your own canvases or you can purchase pre-stretched or canvas panels. I want to talk about the positives and the negatives of each type of painting services we have on the market. The most affordable is hardboard or masonite. It's also one of the best sports to use to mount or glue your canvas on because it's so rigid it will last so much longer than any canvas panel at the local art supply store. Because the canvas panels at the local art supply stores is basically like a cardboard paper material. It's not very rigid and it will warp over time. Now the positive of the hardboard or masonite is it's cheap, it's rigid, and you can buy it at almost any hardware store so it's widely available. It's also fantastic for brushwork like trees, bushes, portraits, and other things like that. Because hardboard is very smooth and you need a very smooth canvas for painting surfaces for portraits. Uh, many great artists use and have used hardboard as their main choice. Like Thomas Kincaid, he would mount his canvas to hardboard with thin down white glue. Now the negatives to hardboard is you need to sand it and then prime it with several coats before you can start. Now hardboard I find without adding canvas to it will cause many scratches to your soft blending areas like your sky. Unless you have a blending brush like my signature hake brush to blend them scratches out. Also hardboard or any canvas panel I find doesn't work well for knife work like your mountains. It just doesn't give the same effect as a stretch canvas because the panels have no give and your knife has very little flex. So when taking a rigid powder knife to a rigid painting surface, you really have to work it. Now let's go over pre-stretched canvases. This means store-bought. There is hundreds if not millions of stretch canvas brands on the market. So how do you choose? Many artists look for price tag. If they can find a cheaper canvas, that is what they will buy. And that is not a good way to pick out your canvas for your next masterpiece. You want to look at what ounce the canvas is. Is it double primed or triple primed? Is it stretcher bars made of a high quality wood? What brand is the canvas? Is it a well known art brand or an in house brand? What is the canvas tooth? Meaning the texture. Is it medium, fine, extra fine? These are all things you need to look at when you're purchasing a pre stretched canvas. All the information should be on the front label. So, what is the positives? The positive of pre-stretched canvases is, well, they're pre-stretched. You don't have to do anything but take it out of the plastic and paint. That is, if your pre-stretched canvas is already primed. Now, the negative of pre-stretched canvases is they are costly. If you're looking for a good pre-stretched canvas, that's going to cost you a little bit uh, because they are very expensive. And it's really one of the most expensive items in the fantastic hobby that we are in. Now maybe you're just starting out and want something more affordable and want pre-stretched, uh, but looking for something a lot cheaper. Well, many larger chain stores sell double to five pack pre-stretched canvases from anywhere from $3.99 to $19.99, depending on the size and the amount uh, in the canvas pack. These canvases are great for practicing and just starting out, uh, but these canvases are not made very well. So, what if you go to the art store and you don't see anything that you want? I highly doubt that. We, when we go to the art supply store, we, we see a lot of things we like to have, but let's just say you went to the canvas aisle and you didn't see anything that you want. You read all the labels and uh, nothing there you want. This brings up stretching your own canvases, and I really believe that stretching your own canvases is the best way if you're an artist. Uh, this is by far the most affordable way to have a high quality stretch canvas. You can make it however you want. Uh, you will need to have a few small tools, like a staple gun and maybe a mallet, uh, but that's really just about it. Um, in the link below, I have a video on how to make your own stretch canvases. 
a very affordable way to make your own stretch canvases. Uh, well, the positives of making your own stretch canvas is you got total customization. Uh, you can make this thing however you want. You can make it as high end or as cheap as you want. You can you can get the cheaper wood or you can buy a higher quality wood. You can build this thing however you want it. Now the negatives of stretching your own canvases is it takes time. So if you really don't want to spend a half an hour to an hour making a canvas. You know, this is not going to be for you, but I recommend if you're going to start doing pre-stretch canvases, or I mean, stretching your own canvases, then you really want to build them uh, a few at a time. That way you have a few built up. Take a day out of the week and uh, make your own canvases. You know, you can buy the pre-made um, uh, wood bars, the stretcher bars. You can buy those pre-made, or you can build them yourself. Um, I'm hoping to have a video out hopefully sooner than later. Uh, of making your own stretcher bars. Well, this is all the time I have today on Art Talk. I hope I've answered all your questions on canvases. I know I get so many of you guys asking about, you know, pre-stretched, stretching your own canvas panels and, and things like that. I hope I answered those for you today. If you have any questions at all, you can always contact me on my website at brandonthomasart.com. And don't forget, if you're needing some art supplies, don't forget to check out my e-commerce site, BrandonThomasArtSupply.com. And don't forget to subscribe, like, share these videos. And I hope you all are having a great day today. And I'll see you all real soon.